Hey folks, Jim here. What the heck is this? Well, I have taken this two horsepower Montgomery Wards. Look at this, 70s. And it was for this uh, deal right here, which mows the side of your grass by your sidewalk. See, it's broken. Well, yeah, it is. It's broken. See, this part here where the shaft goes, it broke. I went out there and turned the little thing, the flipper thingy, but I have another one now, so I don't. And I remembered that I had this, and it worked so good, I couldn't believe it. The engine and the whole deal worked. Um, when I got it, I got it on trade for a bicycle. Uh, just a regular old, you know, bicycle. But a guy was a bicycle collector, and it was kind of a 60s type of deal. Anyway, so I had in the beginning, just to start out maybe a little bit more, I have this motor here. So if anybody needs one, look at that. Somebody wrote, works fine. That somebody is me. I labeled everything. And it's a, I think it's a one and a half horsepower. Uh, nope, three quarter horsepower, and it goes low voltage or high voltage. And you can uh, reverse it. Anyway, so I had that on here years ago. I used to have, right there, a compressor. When I bought this, I bought it for, oh gosh, in the 80s. For 50 bucks I had a compressor four cylinder compressor right there and then um, one of the cylinders went out it was a straight up and down job anyway one of the cylinders went out and um, I asked the guy about it because you know, he had it sitting over to the side and uh, he said yeah he's you know it's on its way out it's no good well it's no good until I wanted to buy it <laughs> and then of course you know it's worth 50 bucks. It's good now. And 50 bucks in the 80s was a lot. And I didn't have very much money. I just still don't have very much money. But anyway, most of my stuff is junk. So it's a good thing I don't have very much money. I just get it for low dollars or free. Anyway, so, uh, and then uh, it would go down to two uh, cylinders. It, and then all of a sudden it says one cylinder. And then one day it decided to let loose. And so I went out. Because I have, I have stuff everywhere, people. Look at this. There is a line as long as you can see. This is a 150-foot driveway. And uh, this is just my driveway area. Just for me. Anyway, I have um, other places with a lot more stuff. But anyway, doesn't matter. That's not what we're here about. What we're here about is this. So I went out there to my stuff department and there was a Chevelle out there. And uh, I got this. This is an air conditioning pump from a car. And I took off the, um, the pulley that was activated by electricity. 12 volts go on and off, on and off. Cycles. Okay, so it's not running all the time. Well, it's different now. Uh, and then I had that motor over there. The motor. And um, it was right here, and it was out of some sort of refrigerating unit because right here it had a fan and a shroud around it. I can't remember what I got that out of, but anyway, it had to cool itself. Um, there was a radiator on this side too, so it sucked through the radiator and uh, got the motor cooled at the same time. So anyway, as you can see, I, I took this and I welded it a little welded a little shaft on the, or welded this pulley on so it's a little wookie when you see it go it's go like that you know because that's the way it worked out <laughs> i didn't care too much and because it, it was slow speed now here this thing here this doesn't even go very much you know 3000 i don't even know if it goes 3000 rpm it's a two horsepower but boy it survived really well uh, i needed a little bit of a pressure washing but that's okay so anyway then what i did was there's one bolt from that motor one bolt hole that would help me out here the other one's real close you look down there can you see that anyway but I'll, I will, I'll deal with this later uh, probably what I'll do is move this guy oh, I'll move this guy forward because see that bolt right there I'll drill another bolt I'll move him forward because there's a little extra room and I only need that because there's really nowhere to bolt this to see it's there's no more stuff I could weld some stuff on but if I'm a weld why not drill anyway so there you go um, and I've had a different belt and it wasn't quite, let's see, a belt here. That's a belt. Those are some other belts. That's my doggy. <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, so I put this on and uh, I kind of made it a little bit loose because you're going to be pulling on this. So you're going to be pulling on this little bearing. You know, a little slippage in my uh, what I'm doing. And I'm not trying to make an air compressor here, believe it or not, people. I'm making a pressure and vacuum pump for... Um, I've get, been getting into the waste vegetable oil, as some of you know. I made some furnaces, heaters back a little while ago in the wintertime. It's not wintertime. It was cold today. I had to put a flannel shirt on with shorts. and I know that doesn't make sense, but you see it a lot. All right, so anyway... Um, and now it's uh, sun's starting to do it a little bit, so uh, it's starting to get warm. So anyway, um, I know I know this works. I started it the other day. I started it uh, before I started this here. It worked just fine. Well, it didn't actually it needed fuel. Anyway, so now my only deal is is will this pump? It turned the other way. And that's how I got pressure through some hoses. I think I did a video on this already, maybe not. Anyway, on these hoses and all. And I don't have a way to put it in here yet. Because I don't want to do that yet. I want to have two different valves. Uh, so one can do pressure and one can suck and one can do sucking and, and then, you know, turn them off. Anyway, or have one of them a constant breathing. I don't think I have to. Yep, yeah, anyway. So anyway, don't listen to me. All right, so the whole object is to see, does it run backwards and produce pressure? Um, you would think, I don't know if you would, I would think that it, it might. <laughs> Let's go with that, okay. So we have this thing opened and it's on, I don't know what speed here, but it should start right up. Yeah. Okay. So that's starting right up, right? Got that. Look, it's going. It's going kind of slow. Went about twice that fast. Hold on, though. This was the pressure line that you quite short of. And it looks like you can go backwards and still do pressure. It's like here and that's still cut. It's stuck right there. Huh? Bunch of you seen that, I suppose, huh? All right, well, Jim saying, I'll have to get back to this so far. I'm liking it, so I may have to go to a bigger tank for this one here. Um, I've seen on some of these pump out units to see on the YouTube and all where they where they do it for oil and different other things. They uh, have a maybe a bigger. This here is, uh, I think, this is a 22 gallon tank. 
I don't know. But I have bigger tanks anyway, so we'll, we'll get her done. I don't care what kind. We have to put it in a gosh darn 100 pound cylinder if we're going to do it. So, all right. Well, you know, the old redneck thing is if you, if you can't use duct tape, then you're going to have to do it right. <laughs> all right. Bye. Thanks.